Alright, and we have the Master Duel Edison event. Kind of. It's not exactly Edison, much like the Gold Format time travel event we had wasn't exactly Gold Format, but it gives you a similar enough feel to what the game was like at that time, with with one notable exception that uh <clears throat> six hammer. <clears throat> Yeah, but but besides that, yeah, this is a, you know, if you enjoy playing Edison format, this is you 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 will enjoy this format, and, uh, you know, you don't have to actually build your own deck at all. I know that, unlike goat, unlike the goat event, the decks here that you would have to build yourself are a little bit more expensive. Some of them actually do require a specific UR that obviously you might not want to craft for this event. You can't just get away by with just ends and rare. N and R cards. There are, uh, and a lot, obviously, a lot of decks uh, because of staples. They also do require you to spend a lot of SR points, and you know, SR points. It, it's not hard to come by, but it it, it does, uh, it the cost does add up. So instead, you can just play the loners, and these loners, for the most part, are are perfectly fine. They're actually really good. Like hero loner. This is probably the most common deck you'll play against on the on the queue, and this deck is. It's fine. It, it, they even give you uh, three duality, so you you don't have to craft the other two duality yourself because this card is limited to master. So why would you ever have more than one duality, right? But yeah, they give you all the back row. They give you all the monsters. They even give you honest, which is a UR, which is you know nice on them. Now you can build obviously a better version of this deck for yourself if you own happen to own the Stratos. Because Stratos is the only necessary UR in this deck, and obviously this, there's a, a few trap cards that are legal in this event that the loner doesn't have. <coughs> Solid morning, <coughs> but no, yeah, this, this deck, this deck is great. Just and it's very simple. You hear, hero beats, miracle fusion, make shining, boom. It's uh, if, if you uh, you know don't want to, if you just want to get the free pack or like get three wins easily, you can play this deck. If you just want a uh, slow pace game, play this deck. If you want to learn, if you're like new to this format, you don't know what all the cards do. Play this deck; it's the simplest. It works fine. It's on. It might even be the best, like, bang for your, uh, you get get the most value for like the amount of uh, effort you need to put in to play this deck. Also, <laughs> Fission Hero Training is legal, which is which is really funny. Uh, the other next next two Dragoonity. So I'm gonna be honest, Dragoonity. This is probably, uh, unfortunately, this is probably the worst one, and I I am a actually a decent fan of Dragoonie, but this deck is just so fragile. Uh, this, especially now, like you're... The way this deck works is your play is normal summon ducks make a level 8 synchro. That loses to literally every single trap in the game. Even if you make Stardust, you still <laughs> probably lose to the D person, which is at 3, as you can see in this deck. So, yeah, this is a... Uh, it doesn't even do that much going first, because going first you make a Stardust Dragon. It's not like Stardust Dragon is that hard to help at this point in the game. But, yeah, the only... Also, it has the Assault Mode cards. You, 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 know, you know you can't spell Assault Mode without ass, right? These are, these are terrible. These are most... Oftentimes, I just pitch these for Ravine, but... If you do go first and you do draw the co like two and a half card combo where you can make Stardust with a Assault Mode Activate set, then you might be cooking a little because then you can you can get a ass Stardust out on the field turn one, and this is an Omni Negate in 2010. So that's uh that's something. Now that that's still not you know that's not an instant win or anything. It's just literally your only your one point of interaction. Like oh no, what 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 are what is your opponent gonna do to that? And also your probably draw these bricks too so it's not like you, you even you even really went plus in that exchange but you know yeah I'd, I, it, this deck is probably if you're a fan of Dragoonity uh well you probably already own a better Dragoonity deck you probably own better you could probably build a better deck yourself but if you wanted to test it out for a game or two and see just see like uh Losing the hero beat after they set four and you normal summon ducks and they get stopped, but yes, it's my life, my life Stardust. It's pretty cool. It protects your ravine, so at least you don't lose the Gemini Spark on your ravine, which at least it's something. But yeah, don't expect too much from this one. Also, three terraforming. No, ain't nobody gonna have three terraforming in Master when it's fucking banned in this game. And uh, Danny, uh, quick draw Danny is the third one. This is 
this is my by far my favorite of the loner decks. This deck is so fun to play. Also, two dandy, three the breed dragon is actually insane. That's I, I'm used to playing this deck with uh, one dandy at most, and like definitely not three the breed dragon. But yeah, there's there's a lot of lines of play to this, but a lot of times uh, you want to end on a drill warrior because drill warrior is an infinite resource loop. Like you uh, pitch a card every turn, and then Every turn it comes back and adds a card back, and it's really hard to actually interact with this. I think you pretty much you have to warning this if you play it safely. Cause uh so the, the idea with Joe War is you don't usually want to attack with this unless you're really desperate, because attacking with this lives leaves it vulnerable to getting hit by many of the battle traps like E Prison and Mirror Force. But uh it's summon when it comes back in the standby phase, it's better summon itself, and then it adds like monster from graveyard hand. That's not simultaneous, the add happens after. Because of that, your opponent cannot bottomless and, ca and cannot torrential the drill warrior when it comes back. So you're safe from that. So essentially, if you don't attack, the only way they can ever stop the drill warrior loop is by solemn warning. So you can just keep this card safe and just infinitely have like a use your resource, use your grave as a resource every every turn and in the meantime the cards you pitch off drill warrior also get you value like you can pitch level either you can pitch dandelion get two tokens every turn also level either is in this game and drill warrior always comes back to the level six so you just get essentially three free bodies every single turn that you can use for whatever you want you can use for tribute something you can use for synchro something you have bulb and spore so yeah you have pot of hours to recycle your synchros at at one point i I was able to get like two to th three synchros a turn after like turn two and beyond, like after turn three. It, it was, this deck goes really hard. It's really fun to play. Now, the, the only issue is that a lot of these your plays do lose the back row. So if you're playing an actual constructed deck for your opponent that actually has a lot of back row, like the morning, for example, then it gets rough. But if you're just playing loner decks with this, you're probably going to just destroy all the loner decks, especially because you run Raikou and Snowman Eater, and these cards destroy the hero matchup too, because it's really hard for them to interact with face down. They have to pre up the Gemini Spark your set monster, and you know, they don't want to do that against this deck because they're going to, what if, what if they, they Gemini Spark a Dandelion, right? What if they Gemini Spark one of these, these uh, shitter monsters, then that, that feels bad for them. But yeah, I, I, you're, you're going to see a replay of this deck in action just to demonstrate how, how ham this deck goes. Well, here's a game where I play with the hero deck, and my opponent is playing the Dragoonian deck. And this 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 game perfectly sums up these two loners. So normal summon Stratos, add Alias, and set four. Mm -hmm. All right. Pass it to my opponent. My opponent activates Dragon Ravine. Dragon Ravine, send Assault Mode, add a uh, Ackles. Normal summon Phalanx, special Missile Team. Missile Team, get back the. Failings, except nope, you get torrential. Okay, well, there's your end of the turn. You committed three cards from your hand, and now uh, you have no, <laughs> you have a dragon ravine up, and uh, no plays, and you're down on card advantage. And on the end phase, I'm going to get back the Stratos call, get another alias, normal summon alias, have two Gemini Sparks live. Your ravine is never activating again, but when I have Gemini Sparks live, so yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. So here's me trying to play the Dragoonie loner deck, and it took me a couple tries, but uh, we finally got there with a playable hands, and my opponent didn't go first and set four, so we're gonna add uh, Dragon Ravine, Dragon Ravine. I'm gonna dump Phalanx, add Ducks, this is the god combo. Add no normal Ducks, get back to Phalanx, this takes an unnecessary long time on Nastro because of the animations, but you go into... Ha 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 ha, funny, funny, funny Dragoonie name, ha ha. Uh, get back Phalanx. Phalanx attached to Phalanx attached to the to this card. No no jokes whatsoever needed for that. Uh, and uh, make Stardust and set Ass Mode activate. And uh, during my opponent's draw phase, we're gonna we're gonna ass we're gonna ass it up and get get out the Star Dragon Assault Mode. And my opponent passes. Interesting. Now I I didn't summon Malefic Stardust because Malefic Stardust actually. Uh, prevents my other monster from attacking, and Assault Mosaurus has more attack, so you know I, I wouldn't want that. And I drew into Levitin. I could I could have sent this with Ravine too. It's so doesn't matter if we drew it or not. But yeah, I'm gonna Ravine dump Ackles, add another Ducks to hand, 
normal ducks uh, equipped to phalanx and the phalanx summon itself. I, I didn't need to do this. I, I accidentally BM my opponent. This is unnecessary. Uh, Vatriana is going to equip phalanx and then we're going to banish the Vatriana for Levitine. Levitine will equip back the phalanx. Phalanx special summon itself. And then these two are going to make Trident Dragon. We're TCG players. <laughs> Eat your heart out. And try and drag out, I'm gonna pop two. Now check out this combo. I'm gonna pop two, so now it, ga it gains two attacks, and that triggers Star of the Summo. When Star of the Summo is destroyed, you can special some Star of back. So now we actually have 3k times 3 plus 2500, which is 11,500 damage. That's an OTK with the fucking loner deck. Now this loses to every hand battle trap in the game. It loses the Fader, it loses the Trag, it loses the Gores, but you know what? Opponent simply does not happen, so. Rare footage of the Dragoonity Loner deck being able to actually do some plays. Now, what what was my opponent playing that was uh that they that they didn't do anything turn on their turn? Did this is what they were playing? <laughs> you know, some things will just never change in Yu-Gi-Oh, such as blue eyes bricking to. <laughs> The high elf. <laughs> now here's the game I was alluding to with Quick Draw Nanny Word. This hand is absolutely insane. Although it's funny enough that we drew all three Quick Draw Synchrons, because the only target for tuning is Quick Draw Synchron. So I might as well use Tuning Tuning to get mills, and we end up milling Double Kaius, which seems kind of Seems kind of mad because we only there's only two Kai's in the deck and just build both of them off the tuning, but it's fine because Drill Warrior is a fair card. It's, well, it is a fair card, but Drill Warrior is is a card in this deck, so it doesn't matter that we milled these, right? So I'm going to send Quick Draw for Quick Draw, Normal Summon, uh, Lone Fire, Lone Fire, get Danny Lion, and I'm gonna one for one the, the last Quick Draw in my deck to get Level Either out, and Level Either plus uh Quick Draw is gonna make Drill Warrior. Level Either comes back. You, you wonder why this card was banned, it, bro. 2010, it's already it's already showing signs. Well, yeah, Drill Warrior now because level 5 doesn't matter. I'm gonna banish the uh, top the MSC and we're gonna end on this. And this seems like I, I used my entire hand to end on a level eater plus Danny Lion. What, what's so special about this? Okay, well, my opponent's playing heroes. So, what, what are, what's, what's heroes gonna do to this board? They're gonna normal summon alias and attack with a level eater. And that, that's it. So, standby phase. Drill Warrior comes back, we get. Glow Ball, that's an insane draw by the way. If we add the Kai's back in the grave, the hand that we milled for free, so we just got a free Kai's in the exchange. And before doing anything, I'm going to Drill Warrior, well, I'm going to level either off the Drill Warrior first, and then I'm going to Drill Warrior duck pitch the Glow Ball. I'm not going to attack with Drill Warrior, risking it, risk losing it, so yeah, the level either comes back, we get the Ball in grave. I'm going to sack the level either for Kai's, okay, and Kai's is going to banish one of their back row, which is Solemn Judgment. They, they really should have solemned this. I, I know it feels bad soloming for 4k on a Kai's, but but look what happens when they don't solemn this. Okay, so the level leader comes back on the Kai's, the glow ball cup uh mills a pot of avarice. I don't even care. These two go into formless synchron, draw a card. Level either comes back again. And now level four, level two, and level three dandelion makes Trishula. Turn two Trishla in 2010. Dandelion tokens come back, and now Trishla is going to banish three cards. Their their grave is only has a Roto, so that doesn't matter. But we banish a back row, we've banished a card in hand, which is their Stratos, and then Dandelion gets two tokens, and then enter battle phase, and it's gonna get booked. And oh look, what happened to my opponent's cards? They're down to two cards in hand, and we still have We still have all this on a field right get break and a drill where it comes back. So yeah, their turn they're gonna set to attack over a token, because that's all their deck can muster, one attack per turn. And here comes here comes back the Drill Warrior, Drill Warrior comes back, add back Caius, and I'm gonna sack level either for Caius, banish their face down Snowman Eater, because what else is Hero gonna set, right? Level either uh gonna re get you break their back row, I'm gonna level either back, flip up the Trishla, and attack <laughs> for almost game. Um and then we're gonna have more resources next turn, because, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, dude, this deck, so fun to play, it goes, goes so hard. So yeah, 
I love playing this deck, even if I don't build my own deck for this event, I'm probably just going to play more duels of this event just with this deck, because um, I don't own all of these things in the extra, you know, I actually don't own the Stardust Dragon, so it's actually just cheaper for me to just play this deck than to build my own version of Crypto anywhere. But there are some decks that I'm eyeing that are relatively cheap that don't require really any U URs that I'm ugly can build as well. So let me know if you're interested in uh, other decks you can build for cheap that aren't just the, the loners here.